before we get into a, uh, a live product demonstration, I'd like to run just through a handful of slides, kind of giving you some reasons why we're seeing Remedy Force attain the traction that it is in the market space, and some things that you might want to think about as you look at maybe other vendors and so forth. So one of which is, uh, what the, the first reason I think that Remedy Force is gaining such traction is the partnership that it has established with Salesforce.com. So for those of you that maybe do not know who Salesforce.com is, Salesforce.com is a, a cloud-based solution or a software as a service solution that is, is truly, it was initially a CRM solution. And whether it was by design or accident, what actually happened is Salesforce.com developed a platform which is referred to as Force.com that was extremely scalable, extremely flexible, and uh, customers began developing their own applications. And so when BMC just made the conscious decision to provide a solution that customers didn't have to have any local infrastructure, they wanted a SaaS solution, they had the option of one, developing their own uh, infrastructure and platform for that, or they could leverage an existing, well-known, proven infrastructure, and that's exactly what they did. So in, in reality, what you're getting with Remedy Force, you're getting BMC's years and years of experience of service management capabilities and service management capabilities with the Force.com infrastructure that's, that's trusted, very scalable, resilient, and then in addition to that, um, you're also getting a shared vision roadmap. So it is a very tight partnership between Salesforce.com and BMC to provide you with the Force.com solution. The second reason, and, and we talk about return on your investment, I think this slide really speaks to that probably mo most. Um, you know, it's easy. Well, you hear that all the time with, with applications, and, and it is easy. It is easy to deploy. It is easy to use. But I think most importantly, it's easy to manage. Now, what do I mean by that? When we talk about making the solution easy to manage, we're really talking about the fact that, one, there's no infrastructure required on at your location. So you don't have to worry about setting up the application servers. You don't have to worry about setting up the database servers and maintaining the licensing for those things. So that in itself, that's a huge return on our a huge increase in terms of efficiency and certainly drives down the cost of, of the solution, the total cost of ownership. The, the second aspect when we talk about being easy to manage is not only is the application managed or the infrastructure managed for you, but the application is managed for you as well. And so when we talk about upgrades to the, the latest version, which uh, the, the summer release is just right around the corner for Remedy Force, but when you talk about doing upgrades, BMC actually handles those upgrades for you. So it's very common that I speak to customers that have used you know, previous BMC solutions or, or other uh, on-premise solutions, and they're two, three, four versions behind sometimes. And it's because, let's face it, you guys are in the business of supporting your customers. You're making sure that their systems are up-to-date and operational and efficient and so many times the service management solutions and IT's own internal solutions get neglected. Well, that um, is really alleviated uh, when you talk about Remedy Force because, one, BMC does handle all of those upgrades for you. It is uh, basically BMC will contact you, let you know that a new release is available, and then work with you to devise an implementation or an upgrade plan to get you to the current version, whether you want to do that in a sandbox environment first and do some internal testing, or if you want to go straight to production, it's really entirely up to you. So those two things, the, the lack of the, the lack or, or need for infrastructure and the fact that BMC is going to keep your application up to date um, and, and work with you in terms of developing those upgrade schedules, uh, I think is significant. Uh, and does truly make the, the solution easy to use and easy to maintain and manage. The third reason is the innovation that comes with the, the product. So as I mentioned before, BMC's years and years of experience of IT service management, best practices, they've actually gone to the point of 
embedding those best practices into the solution. So when you get Remedy Force, you're, you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from the years and years of experience of implementing uh, IT service management uh, solutions for customers right out of the box, as well as you're getting fully documented processes when you talk about incident problem and change management. So you're getting uh, that innovation in that, in that capability. In addition to that, the Force.com platform itself brings a significant amount of innovation from the, from the aspect of social or collaboration tools, such as the chatter utility within Force.com, also the mobile accessibility. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, BMC is continuously introducing new functionality and new features. And so BMC's uh, Remedy Force product follows the same release schedule that Salesforce.com has, and that is that there are three major releases per year. You have a spring release, a summer release, which again is just right around the corner, and then we also have the winter release that usually will come out um, first of each calendar year. So three major releases per year, and my experience is, is that each of those releases are you know, packed full of new features, capabilities, and a big part of that, again, is the Force.com infrastructure because it is so easy to develop um, on, that, on that platform. It makes, the, um, it, it makes that development cycle go much quicker than uh, a traditional application infrastructure. So what are some reasons that you, 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 know, you can depend upon a remedy force? And I think you know, when it gets right down to it, uh, it really boils down to the fact that, that having that reliability of the force.com infrastructure. So when we talk about force.com, this is, first of all, a true software as a service solution. And what I mean by that uh, is that it's not, a it's not a hosted server that's in a data center that you have VPN access to. This is a true uh, infrastructure that's designed to scale and support you know, thousands and thousands of different organizations and, and quite literally millions of users across the globe. So <clears throat> when we talk about a software as a service solution, and specifically Force.com, you've got, you know, five mirrored data centers across the globe. You've got production class lab facilities. Uh, so you have the ability to, to do, uh, you know, development and test environment. Uh, and then easily roll those to your production. Uh, in addition to that, near-time replication between those five different data centers, um, very um, thorough and advanced uh, and validated disaster recovery solutions, as well as uh, you know, a cutting-edge backbone infrastructure that supports that force.com infrastructure. So literally, I've used the Remedy Force product for I guess uh, close to three years now, and not once have I ever not been able to access the system. Uh, it, it's it's available, and and again, part of that is because of the, the disaster recovery and the the um, resilience that they developed into that that platform. So when you talk about security, it's usually a, a um, you know a, an interesting point that most customers are concerned about. You know, how can I be sure that my data is secure from other users of this Force.com platform? Well, first of all, it's, um, you can see the whole host of, you know, of certifications that the Force.com platform has, has, um, has been certified for. And the reality is, is that Force or Salesforce.com, they can't afford to have an unsecure solution. It would only take one customer, one event, where they would lose confidence of the customers, and customers would begin, look, you know, looking at other solutions and, and other alternatives. And so, there's been a great deal of, of effort put towards security, and not only the data security, but the actual physical physical security of the data centers that that host this information. So, um, with that, I think you should feel very confident in terms of security capabilities. And don't take you know our word for it. Uh, actually, Salesforce.com is so confident in its availability and its security that they have a site that 
any customer, any prospect can go to at any point in time, and they can see the real-time uh, status of the different systems, and more specifically, even your own implementations uh, within that infrastructure. So you can simply go to trust.salesforce.com, and there you'll have uh, more detailed information about the security, about the, the live system status, as well as any uh, historical performance. And you know, I think the quote uh, that, that Hagen Dawes provided here is that if the system isn't uh, doesn't perform, there, you know, nothing else matters. If you can't get to your data, if you can't use the system, then it's really all for naught. So um, I'll, I'll leave you with that. Now, when we talk about Remedy Force, again, uh, the application that's developed on that Force.com platform, what are you actually getting? So, uh, with, as with any contemporary service management solution, you'd expect the, um, the, the common ITIL processes and modules such as incident, problem, change management. Those are all, uh, those, are, those are absolutely all uh, modules that are included with the Remedy Force. Again, incident, problem, change. In addition to that, configuration management, service level management. And as I had mentioned earlier, there's fully documented processes that are also provided with a solution. So literally, uh, the, the procedures that service desk analysts would take when registering an incident all the way to the detailed work instructions on how they would interact with the application and how they would complete forms. Now, some of the other things that I think that really set Remedy Force aside, uh, namely being the service request module and capabilities. This particular um, functionality was, was first introduced in the, um, in, in, in the winter release. And with that, um, what you now have the ability to do is give your customers access to that service catalog. So at the end of the day, you're a service provider. You're offering different services to your customers, and your customers need a means and a, and a method of being able to request those services. Simply sending in an email to the service desk saying, I need a new laptop, isn't, isn't, isn't sufficient, and it's definitely not efficient. So uh, with the service request capabilities, we can actually allow you to devise an interface where customers can ask the specific questions and capture the relevant inf information that's needed so that you can fulfill that request without having to do all the back and forth with a customer. And again, that service request capability is accessible not only in the staff portal, but it's also available to your customers through the self-service portal. And in addition to that, the knowledge base, giving your customers access to the knowledge uh, within, the, um, you know, within, within the system that you've developed, and in addition to that, if you're wanting something, uh, you know, such as canned articles from external companies, we do have the ability to interface with tools like RightAnswers.com. And I mentioned this earlier, but the mobility aspect of Remedy Force. So each of your customers would have the ability to go to their mobile device through a mobile app that they can download from BlackBerry, their, um, their iPhone device, and at that point, they can register incidents. They can check the status of incidents, uh, things of that nature.